Tonight, Lake Minnetonka pet owners are on high alert after recent sightings of coyotes in the area, and one family even had a close call with their dog. As our Kirsten Mitchell reports, wildlife experts say it's normal this time of year, and there's a few simple ways to keep your pet safe. They are looking to uh, make breakfast of her. It was 7 in the morning on Lake Minnetonka when Paul Shretford's home surveillance camera captured his desperate attempt to save his dog as a coyote headed straight for her. My dad instincts kicked in and I just booked it down there. I tried to, I fell on the ice, but I tried to, you know, rescue her and say, oh, oh my gosh. The 10 pound mini schnauzer is doing well. The Olive's parents are holding her a little tighter. You can laugh about it because nothing did happen, but you just think of if we wouldn't have been watching or if, you know, it would have been a split second later, who knows. It's the first time they've seen coyotes near their home. They shared the video on social media in hopes of warning others. What's out there? What's out there? Across the lake, Susie Fick has seen them too. Went around the um, other side of the point and kept going over to Fletcher's and They've just kind of been hanging around. She's keeping an extra eye on little Darby. He loves the snow. Um, Minnetonka isn't having a, an influx any more than any other uh, any uh, other municipality out there. Wildlife experts say coyote sightings are normal this time of year, with mating season from January to the end of March. They're setting up their territory, so they're a lot, a lot more active and a lot more noticeable, especially during the day. What should people do if they do see a coyote on their property? The best thing to do is to wait, stand up tall, wave your arms, you know, appear as big as you can, um, make a lot of noise. He says coyotes are critical to the ecosystem and help control the rodent population, but it's important not to feed them and keep your furry loved ones on a leash. Just keep an eye on them and it can happen faster than you think, so, you know, be vigilant. At Lake Minnetonka, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. The DNR says it's also a good idea to clean the area under your bird feeder. Any seeds on the ground can attract mice, which then can attract coyotes.